peace be to you. By virtue of the United States Fair Use Law, let me play the video clip of Dr. Zaker Naik, who asserted that Jesus Christ never claims to be God, and thereafter I shall comment as to why his criterion shall form the basis to judge Allah the God of Islam. I never said that nowhere in the Bible is it mentioned that Jesus is Son of God. I said there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible. There is not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or ways is worship me. I never said the Bible does not say Jesus is Son of God. What I said, there is not a single unambiguous statement, not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or ways is worship me. If you point out any such two statements, I'm ready to accept Christianity. Thank you Dr. Zaker Naik for proclaiming the criterion to determine whether or not Jesus Christ is God. Hebrews have two words Elohim and Chadai, which means mighty and almighty respectively. Since Elohim is commonly translated to God, I shall replace God with mighty the synonymous word for Elohim. Is Jesus Christ the mighty one? Can any Muslims answer the question? Before I answer the question, let me throw back the question to Dr. Zaker Naik. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Quran, where Allah said to Muhammad personally, I am Allah or worship me. Why Muslims call his name is Allah, when Allah has not spoken even once, that I am Allah. Nowhere in the entire book of the Quran, Allah speaks to Muhammad directly in the first person, I am Allah except for three verses namely Quran chapter 20 verse 14, Quran chapter 27 verse 9 and Quran chapter 28 verse 30 are sent to Prophet Moses the Hebrew. But the aforesaid three Quranic verses are forgeries of the Arabian scribes by virtue of the precedent law of Yahweh God sent to the Hebrews. As Prophet Moses was a Hebrew, even to mention the name of Moses is forbidden in the Torah since his name and his scripture belong to the Hebrews forever. Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 29 says, The secret things belong unto Yahweh our Elohim, but those things, which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Yahweh God spoke to Moses directly, I am Yahweh your God, in Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1 and for other 26 times in the Torah. As it is written, the secret things belong unto Yahweh our Elohim, but those things, which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Furthermore, in John chapter 16 verse 15, Lord Jesus Christ said, Whatever the Father has, is mine, therefore said I to you that he the Spirit of truth, will receive of what is mine, and will show it to you. As a matter of fact, Lord Jesus Christ claimed absolute ownership on all words of the Father, and declared that the Spirit of Truth will execute his words, by receiving from him of what is mine no longer his Father's, and will show to you the chosen apostles. As Dr. Zaker Naik mocks the Christians, that Jesus Christ did not say I am God, then Jesus should not be called God. Likewise by the same measure of judgment, Allah of the Quran never says, I am Allah, not even once to Muhammad. So why Muslims call Allah, when Allah has not spoken about his name as Allah? Quran chapter 14 verse 4 says, We send not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people, in order to make things clear to them. Quran Saba chapter 34 verse 44, But we had not given them books which they could study, nor send messengers to them before the as warners. Quran chapter 46 verse 12 says, and before this, was the Hebrew book of Moses, as a guide and a mercy, and this book confirms it in the Arabic tongue, to admonish the unjust, and as glad tidings to those who do right. Quran Almeida chapter 5 verse 51 says, O you who believe, take not the Jews and the Christians for you are friends and protectors, they are but friends and protectors to each other. And he amongst you that turns to them for friendship is of them. Verily Allah guideth not a people unjust. Unquote why Muhammad said Allah guide not the Jews and the Christians and labeled them as unjust people, when he said few verses later in verse 69, that the Jews and Christians should not fear the day of judgment. 
Quran Almeida chapter 5 verse 59, say, O people of the book, do ye disapprove of us for no other reason, than that we believe in Allah, and the revelation, that has come to us and that which came before us, and perhaps that most of you are rebellious and disobedient? Quote why the Muslims never read, and believe the gospel of Jesus recorded by Apostle Prophet John Ben Zebedee, as an authentic record, when not a single true Christian disproves it? Quran Almeida chapter 5 verse 97 says, Allah made the Kaaba, the sacred house, an asylum of security for men, as also the sacred months, the animals for offerings, and the garlands that mark them, that ye may know that Allah has knowledge, of what is in the heavens, and on earth and that Allah is well acquainted with all things. Unquote it is ridiculous to say Allah made the Kaaba as the sacred house, when Lord Jesus Christ had said to the Samaritan woman, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what, we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Elohim is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Quote John chapter 4 verse 21 to 24. Lord Jesus Christ reminded the Samaritan, that the salvation is of the Jews which means, the salvation plan of Yahweh God came forth from the tribe of Judah, of which Jesus Christ was an offspring of King David, to inherit his royal throne of kingship. Lord Jesus Christ said, I and my father are Akkad, in John chapter 10 verse 30 and the term Akkad was defined by him, to mean that my father is in me and I am in my father, in John chapter 10 verse 38 Aramaic Murdoch version. By virtue of the words of Lord Jesus Christ from John chapter 10 verse 30 to 38, he claimed two honorable titles, as revealed in Psalms chapter 82 verse 6. The term I and my father are Echad is synonymous to I am Elohim, which is reflective of your Elohim, and when Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the son of Elohim in John chapter 10 verse 36, he made the paralleled statement to, and all of you are sons of the Most High. Hence, Psalms chapter 82 verse 6 bears two honorable titles namely Elohim and the son of Elohim, were claimed by Lord Jesus Christ simultaneously. In Psalms chapter 82 verse 6, thus says Yahweh, I have said, Ye are Elohim, and all of you are children of the Most High. Quran Almeida chapter 5 verse 66 says, If only they had stood fast by the law, their gospel, and all the revelation that was sent to them from their Lord they would have enjoyed happiness from every side. There is from among them a party on the right course, but many of them follow a course that is evil. Unquote why Muhammad said in Quran Almeida chapter 5 verse 51 regarding not to befriend with the Jews and Christians, and asserting that they are unjust people, and yet he contradicted himself in Quran chapter 5 verse 56 when he said, there is from among them a party on the right course? Quran Almeida chapter 5 verse 69 says, Those who believe those who follow the Jewish scriptures, and the Sabians and the Christians, any who believe in Allah in the last day, and work righteousness, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Unquote why Muhammad plagiarized from the Jewish scripture and the gospel of Jesus, when Allah has not spoken to him. Acts 1 verse 1 to 2, The former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Yeshua began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up, after that he through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Acts 1 verse 7 to 8, And he Jesus said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons, which the Father has put in his own power. But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and in St. Maria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Unquote this passage is taken from Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 8 about the Holy Spirit and the gift of tongues, which reversed the curse of confusion of tongues at the Tower of Babel. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. 
and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together, and were confounded, because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born? The resident Jews in Jerusalem knew the apostles of Jesus Christ were all Galileans as they exclaimed, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? The apostles of Jesus upon receiving the Holy Spirit of truth became prophets to every nation under heaven, for the natives of every nation were confounded, because that every man heard them speak in his own native language. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 17 to 20, Lord Jesus said, So every good tree beareth good fruits, but a bad tree beareth bad fruits. A good tree cannot bear bad fruits, nor can a bad tree bear good fruits. Every tree, that beareth not good fruits, is cut down and consigned to the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Unquote by the fruits of the apostles of Jesus Christ, I shall know that some of them had bestowed the office of the prophets. John Ben Zebedee was both apostle and prophet by the book of Revelation, that he penned under the guidance of the Holy Spirit of truth and the visions, that he saw with his own eyes. Apostle Paul was also known prophet, as he was inspired to deliver the directives to the prophets in the body of Christ. Matthew 28 verse 16 to 20, And the eleven disciples went into Galilee, to the mountain, which Jesus had appointed for them. And when they beheld him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came near, and discoursed with them, and said to them, All authority is given to me, in heaven and on earth. And as my Father sent me, so also I send you. Go ye, therefore, and instruct all nations, and baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And teach them to observe all that I have commanded you. And, behold, I am with you always, unto the consummation of the worlds. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ had set the precedent, to send out his apostles and prophets from Jerusalem, to make disciples of all nations until the uttermost part of the earth and until the end of the age. As Lord Jesus Christ had declared that his gospel will prevail till the end of the worlds, there is no room for Islam to encroach into the teachings of Jesus. Islam is redundant, as the Hebrew word Allah means oak. Lord Jesus did not speak for Allah, it is a blasphemy to say that Moses and Jesus are the messengers of Allah. May Yahweh God open the eyes of the Muslims so that they may behold the truth, that Allah has not spoken I am Allah. Shalom.